everyone, Toro Cave V1 here. Another figure review. Today we're gonna be reviewing Marmot Monster Heaven Rattle Goji. We've already reviewed this sculpt once in the past. It was the Metacom release, Godzilla Vinyl Wars. But this right here is the OG, the original. Very righteous figure right here. As I said in the first review, I'll say it again. This is a um, this is a very underrated figure in my opinion. I think what people didn't like about it is the head. The head's a lot smaller than other ones, other sculpts, but um, it's still very stylized. It still has that marmot charm to it, and you know it's it's among the elite in my opinion. Very awesome, very epic. Um, he would probably fall in fourth place in my favorites but uh yeah he's just very awesome very epic this guy is cast in black vinyl this was released in 2008 so we got black vinyl he's got blue sprayed throughout the body he's got silver for the claws on the feet the hands dorsal plates silver here in the teeth he also has like metallic red in the mouth with silver eyes very awesome very epic he's got one two three four five six points of articulation or six um, seams very righteous I um, I got this from Aaron Arthur Anderson of the Hedora collectors group uh, super happy awesome fun time on Facebook very epic pages check them out for collectors um, thanks again brother this sort of mark the second figure that I purchased from Aaron that's very awesome I'm gonna go ahead and compare him to the first one that we reviewed the Metacom or the monster the Godzilla Vinyl Wars as you can see the Vinyl Wars release is a lot more um, standoffish the paint on it just it's a little more iridescent it just pops up more but this guy to me looks a little more on the evil side. He's got that darker pink scheme on him. You know, they both got that blue, but this guy's got green and then he's got gold. Very awesome. Epic, epic, epic. Righteous. Now, I didn't have to do too much vinyl repair on this guy. Aaron kept really good care, took it really good care of him. Um, and by what I mean by that is you'd have to really look at him, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick. If you look at his dorsal plates right there, now look at this one. Okay, it's very slight, but these are a little more open. You see that? As where these guys are more stuck together. So what I'll do is I'll hit him with a blow dryer. Let me get this guy out of the way. I'll hit him with the blow dryer, and then I'll get a sock or something and roll it up to where it's the depth that I want or the thickness, and I'll stuff it right up in here. Once this is hot, it becomes very soft. You can stuff whatever you want there to get, you know, to open as much as you want. And then once it cools off, you remove it and it stays in the shape that it is once it cooled off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do what we've been doing here. Measure this guy for you guys so you guys can see the size. And as you guys can see... He stands at exactly nine inches tall. And he is about nine and a half inches deep. Very epic figure, very awesome. I love that his tail is more um, straight, doesn't have too much of a curve in either direction. Makes it much easier to put away in your shelves, doesn't take as much shelf space, which uh, starts becoming more and more crucial as the collection grows another thing that i would like to share here with you guys is just this back profile whenever you look at him from the back this guy looks super awesome in my opinion the only other one that compares with this or looks as awesome would be the desu goji it's got a very nice back stance very awesome very righteous um i'll go ahead and compare him right here there you go with the Mecha Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla 1993. Epic! These guys stand very nicely together. He still got that size on him, just like he did in the movie. These guys look very nice together. Show cast. 
or showcased in my collection. Very righteous. There you go. As far as for the header card, this is what we got. Your classic Monster Heaven header card. Again, this guy was released in 2008. Bunch of Japanese legal jar jargon. And you have your Marmot Shape of Dreams. Very epic. Alright guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do happen to see this guy, grab him. You will not be disappointed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll take you guys in for a closer look here. Let me know of any other figures you guys might want to see. Anything else you guys might want me to review. Look at that. It's a sick ass right there. That's the money shot right there. Bam. Trampoline. <laughs> for now you guys take care of yourselves take care of your figures keep the kaiju faith alive and we'll see you guys in the next review okay goodbye